What's going on, guys? We are back for some more Minecraft. Woohoo! So, this is Snapshot Week 4, and this no longer works, unfortunately. I have no idea how messed up it's going to be. That doesn't seem to apply a block update. But, even that doesn't seem to apply a block update. Huh. Oh, well. It's forever broken. <laughs> Until I feel like fixing it. I can start playing around with some stuff to fix it, but that just seems like it's going to take forever. So, since you guys last were here, we managed to finish the, uh, the Iron Golem farm. There's no villagers up in the UFO. And I started working on modifying this a little bit because I actually like this layout a little bit better. Except for stairs. I need to figure out what I want to do with these guys. Um, but I just kind of started it working a pathway over to this so that I didn't have to jump across terrain all the time. But let me go ahead and show you guys what it's doing and how it works and all that fun stuff. So, we have an exact copy of this one up above it. That's why I figured... I, I started it and then I got a lot of it done and was just like I'm not even gonna bother recording it there's actually a piece of dirt up there that I have to go fix so let's head up there since I have a piece of dirt that I have to fix um, but no it it produces probably about two a minute or not two a minute two every ten minutes um, so it's actually very very slow but uh, I left it on for a while. I was AFK, just blocked in, um, and got several stacks, but we'll see those in a minute. Um, so, I really don't think I'm going to expand on it. I think I'm going to keep just this one area here, rather than trying to do anything more with it. So, like I said, just an exact copy of what we had before. All the villagers are in their cells, doing their thing, and... Yeah. It took... It wasn't actually that difficult to get him up here because we started at about a medium point. Um, when I did it on the... Uh, on my uh, survival server with Pabble Dabble, um, we started by looping it around these things and it just... They don't move that way, so it just got stuck and did its thing, but... Anyway, uh, let's get rid of that. Fall into this water. Make sure that we fall into this water. Okay. And this is something I have to be very careful of. Okay, let's put that there. Get back up here. Anyway, let's uh, peek in here. I know one just... Uh, this thing's a pain in the ass to get into. Because they're half slabs to that point. So that mobs can't spawn on this pathway. I don't have to worry about keeping it lit up. But this is the little hovel I've been living in. I'm just blowing myself in so that if anything were to show up in here, like an Enderman, that I don't die. Um, one problem I was running into with these hoppers, um, they were connecting to the block that I was placing them against. So like I'd place them there and there, and they would connect to that rather than to the chest. So I just had to kind of shift-click them onto the chest. But here's what we've got so far good bit of iron. I mean, we've got well over a stack of iron. So, I think what we're going to do today, possibly, is try to um, see if I can get the uh, beacon set up. And then go explore into the nether and see if we can find some nether quartz, because that's something else that I really want to do. Need two more stacks. Voila. That gives me two stacks. I don't know how many I actually need for the uh, beacon, but... Um, and there we go. We can hear him working. So he, they fall down into this pathway here. And the lava is two blocks off the ground. They sit there and suffer, and then their thing gets put into there and ends up in the chest. So you can just AFK farm all night and get as much stuff as you want so not complaining about it at all 
But anyway, let's uh figure out where I want to put this beacon. Top of the base is probably the best bet for now, just because it'll be out of our way and it should hit us in the entire base. But I haven't actually played with beacons all that much. I know I have one on the uh, Feed the Beast server, but that's it's off most of the time. <laughs> um, so let's see, where is my beacon block? Okay, cool. Um, we should be good here. Let's uh, not go downstairs. Let's head up top. Start working on this beacon. Um, in other news, I really don't know what I'm doing for my next project. <laughs> so, uh, right about here should be the middle of my base-ish. So let's clear out some terrain. Give me some working room. Okay, good enough. So, let me see. It needs to be, I think, four layers. So, one, two, three, four. So this fourth layer is the where I want to put all of the beacons. Now, that's enough for one. If we expand this, though, that's enough for four. And I really think four is a lot more than I actually need, so... Let's uh, plan on that for now. So I think I'm setting this up right. If we have to go in the ground one, it won't be a big deal. Such a waste of iron blocks. I wish the beacons were better. I don't know if I've mentioned that before, but they're just their range is very underwhelming for as hard as they are to obtain and as much as they cost. I'm not a fan of beacons. I don't think I'm going to have enough iron yet to do this, but at least we can start it, even if it doesn't get finished. It'll, be, it'll just be nice to be able to say that we have a beacon on hardcore. It's a feat that not many people have accomplished. Anybody that I know of, but I also <laughs> don't follow Reddit or anything, so. Oh, yeah. Two stacks is not going to be enough. And anyway, that's at least a start. Can't complain about that. Um... Another night of AF King, we should be fine there. So let's uh, start working on the next part of the project that I want to do today. And that is to find some nether quartz. And we want to break it with efficiency, so I won't need that in the nether. I'm going to grab some cobble, if I have cobble. <laughs> I very well might not have cobble. Um, let's, uh, let's take a look. Cobble? Cobble? I have cobble. Wonderful. Okay, and just because you can never be too safe on hardcore, I'm going to grab a fire resistance potion and keep that on my person at all times. And we're also not allowed to use ender pearls in the nether. That's the other rule. So, when heading into the nether on hardcore, apps, oh, I want <laughs> to go down here anyway. What am I doing? Uh, not allowed to have the ender pearls out ever. No matter how stupid I feel like being, I'm not allowed to have ender pearls out. And there has to be a fire resistance potion bar on the hot bar at all times while I'm in the nether. There's an extra one in the ender chest. But anyway, I went off in that direction and was unsuccessful. I could go off that way 
or I could go off that way. I'm not really sure. So we're going to leave this to... Um, I want to say to chance, but there's really no way to play chance in Minecraft. Just vanilla. So... We're going this way, because I feel like it. <laughs> I love this pick. So freaking good. Oh, there's definitely some lava there. <gasps> oh, there's lava all over the place. I did not want to use that that quickly, but man, that lava spread. I just could not get out of it. Oh man, that's unfortunate. What is this lava doing? Oh man. <laughs> it's nice to know that it doesn't do that much damage to us, but man, there's just no getting out of it once you're inside. Somebody, please. I can't, I can't make those kind of jokes after I've said them. Somebody has to. So, let's, uh, I should stop it from doing its thing now. The lava seems to flow a lot faster. I don't know what update that was in, but and it's really just flowing wonder if it's going to decay faster. It does not look like it. Oh well, anyway. Let's get back down here. Ow. It also does not seem to want to go away. So until that happens, let's just keep heading off in this direction. And try to not be on fire. I think that's a good good goal for us to uh, not try to be on fire. <sighs> that magma cube would have knocked me off. I would have been super upset. Like those little bastards here. Die. <laughs> Stop trying to make my life difficult. All right. Let's keep going. We need to find some new terrain. I actually should have brought a uh, portal set up through here. I actually think I have a portal set up in my ender chest for just such an occasion. Go figure that I'd actually be prepared for something that I wasn't intending to be prepared for. <laughs> oh, let's see. Well, from what I've seen, Nether Quartz just seems to be everywhere. So, give me some some sort of uh, directions to get back. I don't know. see. The thing is, I explored so much. I don't know when I'm going to start hitting new terrain and when I'm not. That's the thing. So as soon as we start seeing Nether Quartz, we'll be okay. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna keep calling it Nether Quartz. It's just quartz, I think. Because as far as I know, oh look, there's some quartz. We hit new terrain. Hello, Wither Skeleton. Oh shit. Um, let's get up here. There we go. Look at those goodies. 
Look at those goodies. Oh, the veins are huge, too. That's awesome. Maybe we get there. 28. I'm super excited. So we'll want to get a few stacks of this just to have it so I can start playing with the comparator and the day-night sensor and things like that. Not that I need to do anything with the day-night sensor, just doesn't hurt to have one now, does it? Ah, did you see that shot? Oh my god. Amazing. Oh, so good. <laughs> I hate gas so much. Any chance I have to just brutally slaughter one, I just do it. Well, you have an enchanted sword there, my friend. If I were less of a man, I would kill you. Or more of a man, I guess, because I don't have the balls to do it. <laughs> and piss off everybody here. Yeah, it just does not seem like a good idea to me. Um, let's see. I think I think we could set up a portal up here. Get an idea for some uh new terrain. It's been a while since we uh generated anything new, at least on camera. I I played a little bit off camera. Just kind of running around, I think right when the witches came out looking for one of those things, but didn't have any luck with that. But anyway, let's uh let's do that, I think. I do need to take out my silk touch pick though, because I don't have a silk touch pick on me. And we need to do that. Alright. Put those back in there. Like so. So touch this bad boy up. <laughs> Break like eight things beneath it. It's okay. And we'll keep that there. Well, kinda. We got a little we got a stack of nether quartz. I'd like to get a lot more, but... Oh well. So let's head through. See what we get. What do we got? What do we got? Ooh! Ocean. What... do we see? I will never get back up here if I fall though, so I gotta be real careful. Huh. Lovely sunset rising up over the uh, deep there. What about over here? Anything interesting yet? Mushroom biome maybe? That'd be awesome. <laughs> we just come out of nowhere and do a mushroom biome. It'd be amazing. I'd be super excited. I don't, I've never hit a mushroom biome in single-player world. I've hit it once on a multiplayer. Like, legitimate mushroom biome. Once on a multiplayer, but... Never legitimately hit one. There's a little island over there. As things continue to render out. I'll go ahead and stop the recording for a bit, and we'll be right back as soon as we can see a little bit further. All right, so it appears to have stopped generating a little bit. Um, I know I shouldn't, but curiosity did kill the cat. So let's uh, jump down here, and I'm going to start heading over this way via swimming and see what we can see from the island.
because it looks like we are definitely just in the middle of an ocean. Our spawn is back that way, so this is away from spawn. And I'm just I'm sitting here hoping for a mushroom biome. Oh, right now we are definitely in ocean. I wonder if this there's an island biome or if this is just going to be straight up ocean. I wish I had my super speed on from FTB. Oh man, be amazing. Oh, anything out there? Some sort of lights over here. What's that about? Is that a uh Looks like a lava thing. Yeah, it looks like some lava there. Um, so we want to kind of keep going in one direction if we're going to do this, because not only am I going to run out of food very quickly while doing this, but I also want to make sure that I can find my way back to the portal. I would very much like to see, you know, what the next island we hit is. But I may need to wait a little while. Let's see you guys in a moment. And so ends my journey on day one. We have been swimming for an entire day with no signs of land. I will keep you posted. It is approximately midnight, night one. I've stumbled across an island that has a lone tree on it. I hope to fashion the logs from the tree into some sort of makeshift boat. Maybe it will make my journey easier. Spark, signing off. Dawn, day two, the frozen, as I begin my rendering. Oh? Not really sure what's going on right now. The sun appears to be rising rapidly, and nothing else seems to be moving on my screen. Wonderful. I appear to have regained some form of cognitive control of our body. The stars at night appear to have been no help in navigating towards land. In other news, I have made a great discovery as my camera still refuses to function properly. The squids have become almost mammal-like in, in that they go up for air to breach but hurt themselves in the process. Noon, day two. We have stumbled across what appears to be mycelium from the distance. We will investigate further. Greetings. We have managed to find the native island of the mushroom. <laughs> anyway, um... I don't know what else to say in my uh, <laughs> explorer's voice. But anyway, we are 4,250 blocks out at minus 3,545. I have a marker here that signifies the direction that we came, but yeah, I'm very glad that we built that boat. But, as far as it looks, this island is gigantic. Huge. This is one of the biggest mushroom biomes that I've ever seen. Just naturally spawning mushroom biome. So, I'm rather happy, I must admit. 
mushrooms all over the place. Definitely think we could make a home here. Let's see. Let's gotta explore all of the area. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um I love it. I love it. I'm so excited that we're here. <laughs> can't even can't even explain it. It's been so long since I've seen a mushroom biome. And this is definitely definitely the place you want to set up on a hardcore world because mobs can't spawn in a mushroom biome. <laughs> so, you just set up the mushroom biome set up in the mushroom biome and you're safe as long as you're just around the mushroom biome. Anyway, I kind of need to figure out where we want to set up shop at. Probably close to the uh, area that we came from. Just kind of like right here-ish. Let's uh, plop that bad boy down. Um... And we'll set up another nether portal, because why not? We can. Three. I don't plan on doing anything in the nether. This is just going to be kind of a do this to see where we're at type deal. However, I think I might leave the ender chest here. Oh, uh, let's go. Let's see what we got. Hear the gas scream and shoot me in the face. Well, clearly this is all new terrain because I've rendered way too much stuff. Awesome. So... I think our home base will be back that way, but who knows how long that's going to be in the nether. Let's take a look and see if we can... I know I won't be able to see anything, but just gotta get a feel for the area that we're going to have to traverse. Very cool though. I'm real happy with where we're at. I think that's a good place to stop it. Um, I'm happy with everything that we've accomplished in this video. I think we should end before something bad happens. So, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, if you could leave a like or comment, it helps me out a lot. And, yeah, next time we'll be setting up a temporary base here on this island. See you guys later.